Pierce Morgan loves talking about vegans. Vegan. 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 Or vegan. 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 And although he claims he doesn't have a problem with vegans. I've got no problem with anyone being vegan whatsoever. He clearly does. Today, we're looking at the cringiest anti-vegan moments in Pierce Morgan history. Let's get started with the time he pretends to throw up after trying a Greg's sausage roll. Greg's lady has apparently oh, turned up. Here we are. <laughs> here are the Greg's vegan <laughs> sausage rolls, even though they're not made of sausage. <laughs> uh, they're made of fake, <laughs> fake sausage. <laughs> it's gastronomic appropriation. Oh, we oh. bumped into the Morgan's meat stand. The <laughs> vegan sausage rolls have hit Morgan's meat parlor. There we are. Clearly a bit of a bust. Let me up. try one of these things, right? These, I mean, they look. Are these the, what are these? The sausages or the vegan ones? What these are, are the vegan ones? Yeah. Vegan ones? So you yeah. can barely tell the difference. I can tell. I mean, they, they stink, right? No, for one, they're delicious. Right? They're delicious, actually. Because they've got the same seasoning. Ooh, God. I like them. They've got nice crisp oh, pastry. Yeah. The vegetarian sausage is nicely flavoured. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a good look, Piers. Oh, my God. I would eat Why that. Why would anyone eat mm. this? Because it's really tasty. He then confuses a vegan diet, which is a diet that excludes harm to animals as far as practicable and possible, with a healthy diet and calls vegan food gastronomic appropriation. Because everyone goes to Greg's to be healthy, right? Seriously, and by the way, while we're at it, we got vegan Happy Meals at McDonald's because everyone goes to McDonald's to be healthy, don't they? Right? Yeah. Rather than go there, have a Big Mac and stuff your face with large fries. And now we got oh, good old pizzas, right? They're all Pizza Hut's gone vegan too because we all go to get a pizza to lose weight and be healthy. What are the? This is complete gastronomic appropriation. It's ironic that Pierce is conflating veganism with health because he's made multiple cringy attempts to paint veganism as unhealthy. You're a, a, a vegan, have been for a very long time. And a survey came out by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization last week, I think it was, that found that a vegan diet cannot provide some vital nutrients to 500 scientific papers. And they concluded that basically, you can't get enough nutrients from plant-based food sources, which would fly in the face of what you believe about a vegan diet. So could it be, and I put this to you respectfully, Dale, that you're just maybe wrong again? <laughs> Look, I had a quick read of that study. It was a few weeks ago. It seemed to me to be aimed at parts of the world where intensive agriculture is not possible. And they talked about uh, marginal diets uh, and how to prevent stunting of children. And they were arguing that actually grazing animals in those countries and eating animals was, uh, was a better alternative than vegan foods. I think it was a very specific case they were looking at because the science is very clear. Take vitamin B12, for example, Pierce. Animals don't make that. And 97% of all of the vitamin B12 that we make, man-made vitamin B12 in the world, is fed to animals because they live in sheds and they aren't exposed to the grass where they would normally get it from. It's a complete myth that we need animals for B12 and vegans don't get it. When studies don't support his claims, Pierce resorts to anecdotes. The Joey Bear Grills, who I know well, said he's embarrassed he used to promote veganism. Uh, he now eats a diet of red meat, blood, bone marrow, as well as salted butter, eggs, fruit and honey. He says he's never felt better. Talking about his transition to a vegan diet, he said, I was vegan quite a few years ago. In fact, I wrote a vegan cookbook. I now feel a bit embarrassed about that because I promoted it. I thought that was good for the environment. I thought it was good for my health. And through time and experience and knowledge and study, I realised I was wrong on both. In full support of his beloved Bear Grylls, Pierce says he would love to drink urine. He's embarrassed to, that he promoted a plant-based diet when he drinks urine and bile out of a uh, camel's stomach. Urine's quite healthy, though. It's healthy? Would you drink urine? Would you rather drink urine? Absolutely, if I had to. Diet? We'll come back to this conversation later, but now let's look at the time Pierce almost started crying when Percy Pig Treats removed gelatin. Emma says, I've got rid of all the gelatin, so there's no trace of pig in the pig sweets, right? And now they taste, as, as fans have said, like washing up liquid. So they've completely destroyed Percy Pig, right? Just to cater for a few vegans who who, on, who don't realise that it's a pig. It's no. called Percy oh, the Pig. Oh, Piers, don't be obtuse. It's just called because they, just Percy because the Pig. They are shaped like pigs. Well, get your own damn sweets. <laughs> Seriously. Vegans, vegetarians, go and get your own sweets, right? Seriously, go and get sweets that aren't called Percy Pig. Right, go and get ones called Kale 
Nices, right? <laughs> kale <laughs> Nices, right? Which tastes disgusting, but you can all feel happy because they're made of kale, right? Leave our pig sweets alone, you people. Have you ever eaten a Percy pig? No, but I'm no, about so. to eat them all the time, the old-fashioned gelatine ones, right? Those are actually the veggie ones, I should yeah. just point veggie out. Veggie Percy. Veggie Percy. Imagine, imagine calling something that's pig-faced Veggie Percy. You think they're a... It's got... You oh, think there are pigs that are also. made of no meat? Little green ears. It's Utterly got... ridiculous. Maybe they're kale ears It's got... Well. The world... <laughs> the world's gone nuts! OK. Pierce takes words seriously. And he makes that clear in this next clip where he debates whether people should use the word pet. Well, you hate the word pet, right? right? You hate it... the word pet. P-E-T. We, we don't hate the word pet. We're encouraging people to use a but better in word. in your word. actual okay. name. Pierce then says PETA should change their name to, well, you'll see. Let me ask you then, what are you well, changing the name acronym. of your organization <laughs> it's to? It's an acronym. It what will you be changing that. the name of your organization to? We're not planning on changing but the name. But it's got pet in it. Literally I think, I think called you're better. missing the point, and there is really? academic... You keep telling me I'm missing the point. I think I'm on point, really. Piers, I just yeah. think... You want to ban the word pet. We don't want to ban you anything. You want your organisation to carry on being called petter. That's because it's, it's the people the problem. for the ethical treatment of animals. Yes, so it's but a pet is offensive. Of I'm offended by your it, use it, of the it, word it, pet. It's not offensive. We're not telling anyone it's offensive. Animals aren't offensive. You're literally telling people not to use the word pet. No, That's not. why we're, you're here. We're suggesting that people could use the word companion. I'm suggesting you should call yourself so much companion a then. Companion a. Yes. I will feed this back. <laughs> if you want to ban the word pet, start in your own backyard. Stop calling yourselves petter. In this next clip, the mere suggestion of veganuary is enough to set Pierce off. I'm a humanitarian. I eat everything apart from humans. Oh, well, I would just that. that. I wouldn't even, <laughs> I wouldn't even <laughs> rule that out, frankly, yeah, some that. of the guests we get on here. But um, let's just be serious about this. I mean, my, my argument about veganuary is that every month now has to be something, right? We're all getting terrorised into, you've got to be dry in January, you've got to be vegan. If people want to do this, get on with it quietly, do whatever you want to do. It's the tyranny that comes with it. Later in the conversation, Pierce claims that he eats meat because he wants to be like a jungle cat. It's the best animals in the jungle eat meat. Lions mm. eat meat. I don't Tigers eat meat. Eat meat. I like a bit of Leopards fish. Leopards eat meat. We need to eat meat. I like the way you're equating yourself with the king of the jungle. <laughs> you do like that. <laughs> subtle, <laughs> subtle, isn't it? However, when humans actually go into the jungle to hunt, like lions and cheetahs, Pierce starts to sound like a vegan. Why do British people need to go to Africa and bring back lions and elephants Be to this country? Because that's what they enjoy doing. Right. So that's enough, is it? When the trophy hunter responds that people enjoy it, Pierce makes it clear that's not a sufficient justification to harm animals. They just enjoy. No, it's not enough. It's a. They it's just a enjoy tiny handing over part. a check, slaughtering great animals, and bringing them back as a trophy, and posing for their gut-wrenching pictures. If you look at what's happening in South Africa, that's enough that they enjoy it. Surrender. Twenty million. No, no twenty no, million no, you, animals. You're okay. cutting me out because I've got a. I'm valid cutting you out because your you answer was because they enjoy it, right? Surrender. They enjoy it, right? People enjoy doing this to these great animals, so why should we stop them? But when it comes to the great animals he wants to pay to slaughter, Pierce fully supports killing them. He loves eating steak, so he shoves a cow carcass down his throat while trying to provoke Nathan from Animal Rebellion. All you've achieved <laughs> is you've made me want to do this. Just that's, eat that's lovely... absolutely fine. Mm. You go mm. for it. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Do, you know many, do you know how many steaks he's had from my restaurant? <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. But here's my point. I love eating steak. I'm not going to stop eating steak. Yeah. And the, the very last thing on earth that will stop me eating steak is people like you with your pasty faces running into our restaurants telling us to stop eating steak. That's, That's the fine. very last thing that I'm going to do. That is absolutely Because you, you don't represent to me is. vitality or good health. You just all look like you want a good bit of steak. When Nathan is unperturbed, Pierce tries to insult him by calling his organization sexist. And as I've just said earlier, your right to protest if you want to run into your a vegan restaurant. Your mates are also the Extinction absolutely Rebellion, fine. right? My mates. You're all like interwoven, like you said before we came on well, like a Like a wool and blank. Well, are you together. connected or not? So we're a sister movement. A sister movement? What's that? Rebellion. Sounds a bit sexy. No, we... This isn't the only time Pierce chomps corpses in front of a member of Animal Rebellion, as he does at the end of this next clip. But before he does that, he makes it clear that he loves eating animals and thinks vegans are hypocrites. Do you drink almond milk? I drink plant-based milk. You do? You do. And do you eat avocados? I eat a plant-based diet. Do you eat avocados? I'm asking the government... Do you eat avocados? Yes? A leading study from... Do you... It's, look, it's, it's an interview. You don't just answer different questions. Do you eat avocados? I eat a plant-based diet, which do is... Do you eat avocados? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. 
Great. Do you know how avocados and almonds get made? Absolutely. Pierce claims avocados are flown across the ocean, even though they're transported by ship, then tucks into his beloved burger. Both almonds and avocados are less damaging to the planet. Oh, they're less damaging. And what about how they get flown here from California? What Still about how they damaging. get trucked across Still Europe? Less. That study in Oxford, is, that is exactly what it is the about. Planet. No, anyway, it, look, it I'm starving, different. and uh, you're not going to persuade me. And my response to you destroying all these things is to have a Big Mac. Because you know what? It's a free country, it's a democracy, and I'm allowed to eat meat, and I'm certainly allowed to eat meat when someone who kills bees to feed their avocado habit mines. What we're asking is for the government to support... Painting vegans as hypocrites is Piers' favorite strategy and goes back to the first time Joey Carbstrong was on his show. In September 2011, you were arrested when police found a loaded, sawn-off pump-action Oh, a rifle. character attack. No, a Has fact. this got anything to do a with fact. the topic at hand? Well, you were, OK. It's a, a character attack. Oh. It's called a on fact. On my path. It's called a fact. OK. Were you found with a pump-action rifle, Daniel Trousers? Would this be relevant if I was speaking up against dog abuse or child abuse? I'm asking you a question. Is that true? It's true. I was uh, incarcerated true. for something I did in my police past. Found 29 bullets, right, as well, and a, uh, a flick knife. This right? is no way to have a debate on Here, dairy. Please, everyone I'm... makes mistakes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a character I'm simply attack. asking a question. Okay. You, does that make, make, you does didn't that make, expect to be defending him, did you, Was your Anthony? intention with the bullets and the rifle and the flick knife to cause harm to human beings? Okay, let me answer that. I yes used to no? consume animal products three times a day as well, so I was harming animals and humans, right. okay? But I changed my life around and now I'm vegan. Now, just because I did something wrong in the past doesn't mean I can't do something right now. How does that justify your abuse of dairy cow so you can have milk in your coffee. This isn't the only time Pierce tries to make vegans look like hypocrites. You may not know that before Pierce found his go-to bee argument, he was chastising vegans for eating bread. How many of you eat bread? <laughs> oh, serious question. Yeah, we all eat you bread. You all eat bread. So you're aware that how bread gets made, right? Yeah. Wheat yeah. crops and all that kind of thing. Ladybirds, bugs, things. Mice, rats, all these other little creatures that are in the crop, they get destroyed in the production of, of wheat crops, right, so that you guys can munch your bread. Tell me the difference, ideologically, between me wanting a Christmas turkey, right, and you guys eating bread, which you know involves the slaughter of millions of young critters. Veganism is not about perfection. It's about doing the best that you can. If you, if you look at animal agriculture, it is the single biggest cause of climate change, global warming, deforestation. By far, more animals are being hurt through animal agriculture. This is a common anti-vegan argument that conveniently ignores reality because we know for a fact that vegans kill way fewer animals. But Pierce isn't interested in data or facts, as we see in this next clip with Joey Carbstrong. Given that 80% uh, or 90% of the world's almonds come from California, where they're made in the involving the demolition of billions of bees who get murdered. How do you feel about the little guys? They don't guys? get murdered. Um, that's completely false, and I don't know why... How many billions, excuse how many me, billions of bees die in, in the pollination? I've of, got the 2022 data right here. Then. They die mostly from parasites and pests. 66% die mm. of uh, uh, varroa mites or other pests and parasites. But in the making, disease. in the making excuse me, of no, almonds no. and avocados... <laughs> they don't. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. What, the data you know, is here. It's this here. Do you know where I read this? This here is data from US Department of Agriculture. Do you know where I read this? Wait, I read it in The Guardian, the vegan bio. Bible. Even the Guardian <laughs> admitted me. that this you vegans who eat avocados Only and almonds. Six point seven percent. This is not. You don't so care also. about the little guys. Pierce isn't the only cringy anti-vegan, as this chef banned vegans from his restaurant after getting one bad review. Joey, when was, Joey, when was the last time you laughed? Last time I laughed. Can when I heard you say second? that all bees are slaughtered because of avocados, it's an absolute abject it's lie. An ab it's an it's absolute lie. fact. You, and you can't, facts don't it's care about your feelings, Pierce. It's undeniable. Can I get a word don't care about Yeah, your John, final word to you. This loser interjects with a sad attempt at vegan humor and gets the punchline wrong. How many vegans does it take to change a light bulb? Go on. None. They all oh, prefer to stay yeah. in the dark. Well, wait for the punchline. What's uh, the punchline? Uh, None uh, more. Uh, Go have a cry made so out of complaint. prefer to stay in the dark. The actual answer is none. Vegans don't change anything, which is actually kind of funny. But Pierce attempts to save this moment by using the cringiest vegan joke in the book. <laughs> Go have a cry. I see, the other complaint. one I like is, how do you know when someone's vegan? Don't I'll worry. Gas chamber footage. Don't worry. The UK. They'll they soon you. tell you and play uh, pictures and stuff of people screaming. Of pigs being murdered in gas chambers. What they won't play you is bees being well, murdered. Joey. It's hard to say which moment is the worst, but the awkward laughter with Joey interjecting takes the vegan cake for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.